So I just wanted to make a video of uh, all the head swaps that you can do with this new figure. Again, this is the 3.0 SH Fig Arts uh, Sun Goku Legendary Super Saiyan. Um, I already posted a full review on this guy if you want to check out like the figure itself. But in this video, it's just going to be all head swaps. So I'm just going to uh, start off with his head swap first. So he does come with two head swaps. Um, this is what the yelling head looks like. And then he has the resting head with one extra bang. Um, this bang can only go on this head. So we'll do the first head swap with his own head and then I'll just switch the bang out. So that's uh, what the regular resting hair looks like. That looks pretty sick. Just a uh, regular old Super Saiyan Goku. And then uh, with this one, I guess you could get away with like key blasts and uh, possibly powering up. So a um, little bit of a change there <clears throat> so again this is the 3.0 neck peg um, most of the head swaps that we have is uh they're all 2.0 so just to see what they would look like up against this figure so this is the sand rays on earth goku the skin tones match but i could kind of fold this peg out of the way his face is going to be a little bit smaller because it's 2.0 to 3.0 but That'll be Goku with no shirt. Next, we have the CGI Goku. And that skin tone is just way off. Um, I was never really a big fan of this uh, CGI Goku from the uh, superhero movie. But that's what that would look like. Next, we have the... <clears throat> this is the demoniacal fit uh, Goku. And this one was a 3.0. So we'll see if these head pegs match. Let's take this face off first. So... So 3.0 to 3.0, um, it's kind of tight. I guess the the legendary Super Saiyan Goku peg is a little bit bigger. So this one snaps on though. I probably should have did this one last, but you can get a powered down Goku. Again, this is the 3.0 demoniacal fit, uh, Martialist forever. And to be honest, this looks pretty sick. Um, just to have a powered down Goku and this one fits the skin tone matches and the face matches up with the 3.0 body So I like that Hopefully this comes off without pulling the other peg out. Oh my gosh, the whole neck came out. So hold on I'm gonna get this off so we can continue the face swaps I'll Hold the neck down Get that peg out. There you go So not bad the peg are the same size on both ends, so um, if I can get this back in, we can continue. There you go. So pop that back in. At least we got to see what his head looks like, or his neck looks like beneath his chest. <coughs> Next we have, um, which Goku is this? Awakening Goku, my apologies. So this is the Awakening Goku. Again, 2.0 to 3.0. Um, this is like, I guess you could call it like an OG. The Super Saiyan hair doesn't really have any detail. And then I just drew lines in the face, but that's what that would look like. You could get away with that. Not bad. Next is the Full Power Goku. Probably should just kept the peg out for this. <clears throat> Here is full power Goku. Skin tones don't match. Um, probably wouldn't have any reason to switch out this Super Saiyan head anyway, since you know you definitely have the 3.0, 2.0 to 3.0. So um, you know 3.0 definitely looks better. Next we have. <clears throat> Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Again, the skin tone is way off. Um, hopefully, we can get a Super Saiyan 2 Goku 3.0 sculpt in the future. I think um, Tonson Art Toys, Tonson Art Toys, and Demoniacal Fit are working on that. So, uh, Super Saiyan 2 with no hair on a 3.0 body. Um, been asked a lot to <laughs> to put a Super Saiyan 3 head sculpt on these head swaps 
So this is the Super Saiyan 3 Trunks custom that I made. Um, but we pretty much get the gist of the Super Saiyan 3 hair, right? So this is Kong Studios. All I did was change the front and I added bangs to make them look like trunks. Um, I still gotta make a trunks body to go with this, but this is what it would look like. And I think that if the skin tones matched, like this would look pretty sick. I've seen pictures of, I've seen pictures of people putting this on there. Legendary Super Saiyan Goku. My apologies, the peg is just in the way. There you go. It's kind of better like that. So um, it fits the body though, with the hair being so big like that. And then the face matches. So um, the Kong Studios, the, yeah, they were 3.0. They were 3.0s and they came out with the Super Saiyan 3 um, hair sculpt on top of that. So um, this is what your Super Saiyan 3 would look like. Or you can just call it trunks with no shirt on but it's definitely goku so super saiyan 3 that's what it would look like in the back i think that would look pretty sick though honestly so there's super saiyan 3 i've been also asked to put super saiyan 4 on these head swap videos for whatever reason um again the super saiyan 4 goku is a 3.0 so this peg should go in Yep, that pops right in. So, for whatever reason, you would want a Super Saiyan 4 head on a furless Goku body. This is what that would look like. I'm sure there could be some kind of crazy custom to go along with this, but this one fits. This is actually 3.0 to 3.0. So, um, that's that. Skin tone matches. Everything fits well with that. <coughs> Next we have Goku Blue Kaioken, um, the transparent version. I always like the color on the the Kaioken um, SS GSS Goku or the SS Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Like the blue looks really good, um, and that would look really well actually. The skin tones match, and then you could probably just heat up this peg hole and then kind of like get this to fit if you want to stuff it in there or you can drill it i have a video of me drilling a uh, full power goku to make him uh, armored goku with the trunks body so check that video out but that's what that looks like here is a non-transparent goku blue again the blue just looks sick man i really like the blue hair it was different at first, and then when you get used to it, it looks pretty dope. So, Goku Super Saiyan Blue 3.0. Reaching over here. <clears throat> here is the... Let me switch hands again, my apologies. Here is the Super Saiyan God Goku. Um, this is the event exclusive. It's also transparent. Um, I just drew on his face because I want to give him that like side smirking look, but... Again, you can drill this head if you like, or heat up the hole and stick the peg in there. But that's this is what that would look like. And I think that looks pretty cool also. Next we have, let me bring these closer. Uh, UI Sign Goku. So, uh, the skin tone is a little bit off. And again, 2.0 to 3.0. Um, I know I've been saying that a lot, but you can just see that the faces, some of the faces uh, just kind of look small. Maybe if it was like, like right there, I guess it looks okay, right? If you get it on there all the way. So that's UI sign Goku. And then we have last but not least, uh, Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and this also looks man you can pull that off right there actually just looks like him with his uh, final battle with jaren and with this body he could probably beat jaren very easily they're like the same buffness i should have pulled him out for the comparison for that review but the skin tones match and the color looks amazing um so there's a mastered ultra instinct goku 3.0 and again 
If you guys want to know how to put that peg, put this 3.0 peg inside of that head or just any bigger peg, um, look at my drilling video. And then I put this swap in the review, but I'll just do it again just to close out. So this is a 2.0, I'm sorry, 3.0 Gohan on the 3.0 Goku body. And I'm sure there could be a lot of customs made for this. You know, maybe paint this uh, purple and then change his boots or whatnot. But this fits though. The pegs are the same. So um, if this video was helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, if you want to keep an eye out for my videos to come, go ahead and subscribe. Until then, thank you for watching.